squad, Leeway fan with a do gang, it's your boy Lee John, and I'm back with another mother loving video, baby. And always remember, wake up, make your list, and start accomplishing shit, because if it ain't done your way, how you expect to have any leeway, baby? How y'all doing today, man? Um, It's finally happening, y'all. So, I told y'all in the last video, just in case people don't know, um, this video is just me breaking down Meliana. Missouri, but um, for the people that want to know, your boy did a whole factory reset on life because I was getting garnished and all types of stuff for people doing shit in my name, so which I was pissed about. So, like I said I ended up losing one of my favorite fucking banks, and yes, I gotta say fucking because I ain't gonna lie, that one hurt. People tell me to get, I ain't getting over this one because Navy Federal always been great to me. It was unfortunate, but like I said, the new start is a new start. So let me get back on brighter news. Basically, like I said, I'm setting up my bank account with certain people. I'm trying to find out where credit union, like I got to get a whole new primary bank. Business-wise, thinking about going with Chase because they seem like a good bank. So if y'all know any good banks for business with the EIN number just to set up, um, comment in the comment section or hit me up on my social medias. All my social media is normally be in the comment section. But I'm just, I'm taking my time with this one. So it's going to take like another week or two until I feel comfortable on making moves and stuff anyway. Like I said, starting my new job, all new beginning with a lot of stuff. So we going, um, we will be going to the rim shop probably tomorrow. My boy, new rim shop. I got to go out there because um, I had to get new plates. So I had to get the plates transferred anyway. Technically it's new for this car, but I had to get the plates and stuff and everything. So trying to get stuff going Ooh, look at that mercedes mug nice so um back to what we was talking about other than that um my rim still scratched up my car still dirty ain't nothing new that i keep talking about i gotta fix it but i don't we talked about the monte carlo the last one so now we're talking about miliani yazeri my baby my sports car man my bad y'all he came outside, he ain't allowed outside because some stuff happening, so he got to stay in the house. And it is what it is. I ain't got to explain no more than that. He just got to keep his butt in the house. Um, but other than that, let me tell y'all what's going on with Miliani Azuri. Um, ain't nothing new, like I said. Um, I explained in previous videos, and I'm tired of repeat, but people keep asking just the primary video on the G8, so that's what we're going to do. Like I said, the new color is called Candy Pearls Rosetta. It's basically like a darker pink. And y'all know I'm going with rose gold on this one so I can keep, like I'm trying to find a, a car with a, a black look. I'm probably going to take the forged carbon and use the forged carbon and get it wrapped on the lip or something. I'm going to mix it together. So I'm probably going to hydro dip. The wheels is going to be special. I just know that. I don't care what wheels I get, they're going to be special and I'm going to do my thing to them. Um, but it will be some rose gold, some dark rose gold, some, um, like I said, the, the wrap is going to be mixed into it. And of course it's going to have some of the color in the wheel too. So yeah, people don't really, it's like the reason why I switch it up to a darker tone. Cause I feel like it's going to go better with the curves and it'll make it more manlier. No lie. Um, reason why I'm still in this state because I'm, I focused on my business more because I do got the motor for this one and I am getting the motor for the Jeep for that um, for the Monte Carlo and I'm going to get them both they're both going to basically be stroked out except this one got a gen 3 a gen 3 6 iron block and it's getting the gen 4 so this one is going to be dedicated on that iron block of course I'm going to think about supercharging but I'm just trying to get the motor built and set up my boy trying to get me to go a pro charge on it I love the pro charger when you're driving but I just don't like the idle sound because it's loud. So, I might, like, it's up in the air with me right now, y'all. Like, I'm really up in the air about um getting it, getting a pro charger over, a, um you know, a turbo or something and shit like that. Because, like, it's going to normally be down in that area. And, you know, I got everything still exposed and stuff. Like I said, I am getting a new hood. Um... That's off rip. The new hood still going to come because somebody, some people still want to buy this hood because they're talking about they need a hood to cut up and stuff. Hey, they can come get their crack at it. I don't need the hood no more because I'm going with an aftermarket hood to make the car look better. Um, but 
Of course, I'm going with forged pistons. I'm not going with stock bottom end because later on, I'm going to want to add more boost to the car. So I might just build it regular at first. And next year, when the car is done and stuff, I might add the Pro Charger on there. Depends on how that fun's looking and everything and stuff. But right now, yes, I'm really thinking about like this one getting supercharged, off rip, supercharged. But this one, I like it to be a sports car. I like it to be quiet. But people like it's. I'm leaning towards that super, that Pro Charger, just because of that wide noise. But I just don't like the noise. So I gotta find something to quiet it. If I could find something to make it real quiet, I ain't gotta hear the big. Like, if it's not making a loud noise, most definitely I'll pro charge it just for the shit and giggles, just so people will be happy about it. Because you know, I got to get new this and everything. And y'all know I'm going 22, 22.9 in the front, 22.10 or 22.10 and a half in the rear. Um, yes, we're going to be low on it, but I'm going to make sure the wire collar is nice because I don't want this happening to my fenders no more. So, Lee, why you going 20s? Lee, why you going 22s? Still a hood brother at the end of the day. I'm not going to burn out. I'm not going to race it every day. And I'm going, I like the stance of it when it's on 22. So, yeah, of course, we got to fold these in there. Um, got to get some other stuff going. The whole interior is ripped out. Like I said, I have a plan. If everything go right, I'm getting that whole SS, that whole new SS interior for this. I ain't talking about the dash and stuff. I'm talking about the seats and the back seats. And you already know it's going chocolate and whatever on the, on the ground. I'm not changing the interior. Because the, the chocolate and the peanut butter, the peanut butter is close to the rose gold color that I'm going with. The chocolate is going to give it that boom to contrast on the inside. So, yeah, we're going to the V2 taillights. You already know the newer taillights that's out for the G8. Um, back bumpers, of course. And I'm getting a new license plate. I don't care about that. The license plate is actually going to be customized for the car. to go contrast with the car color and everything, too. Um, I'm going with quad tips. So... I'm going with a full boiler exhaust for the car, so I'm not really worried about that boiler exhaust straight to the back. Um, I'm going to make sure I put mufflers and everything because I don't want the car to be too, too loud. Like when I started up, I already know it's going to be. But um, yeah, so I'm most definitely am making sure I'm getting the boiler exhaust from straight back. The motor is going to be a four way stroker, four pistons and stuff, but LS3, like 823 LS3 heads. I'm not porting them or nothing. I don't need to because it's not going to be all motor because I'm trying to add boost. So, um, Side skirts, I'm getting new. I got this damage I got to get fixed. Um, Y'all, it just took a minute because I had to take a break on a lot of things. So, it's in here. Got a lot of stuff. I got to tear the dash out. Everything is getting wrapped and done. I'm not half assing this car neither. This car is already torn apart. This one's a newer car, so it's going to be easier for me to get in and get out and get done. Because everything is plug and play literally from Camaro rear end to um, the interior. Literally getting wrapped up. Sit it in there because I'm not doing nothing crazy. 26s, you got to go with the frame. You got to cut and everything. I got to do that with this car. I got coilovers and everything for this car where I can set it up right. Get a nice tire size because it's going to be a 30 series in the front and a 25 series in the back. So for the back, I'm going to make sure I go with the wider tire because I won't want that meat on the side to protect it from bumps and stuff. So that's most definitely going to be it because I will be driving this car. I'm not going to try to trailer this to shows unless I have another car or a truck down to bring with me. Or it's too long of a road trip. But even if it's still too long of a road trip, I might have, um, I might install a hook or something on the end. So I'll be able to carry extra stuff from, um, I'll be able to carry extra stuff in my car whenever I get a chance to. The trunk is closed, so it's not going to open. Um, I think the key is still in, in the ignition. Let me see something real quick. Hold on, y'all. Because I can explain how the trunk going to go. See if this works. See if this works. It's a hell of a mess in here. So don't mind me. Up. I don't want to open up. Hold on, y'all, real quick. See if I can do this real quick. All right, we got it, y'all. My bad. Um, so once again. 
I'll break down the trunk so y'all can know. Oh shoot, I got basketball shoes like I'm wearing when I go to the gym and stuff. Got some extra spare socks, got some watching stuff. All this is coming out. So basically everybody want me to break down the trunk. This car will be going to Cleveland because I'm getting an enclosed box. So all that space up front will be getting used for a custom box for 212s. I'm thinking, like I said, P2s or P3s is what I'm thinking about going with. Enclosed, yes, it's going to be wrapped in the chocolate and stuff, but the anime trunk. I'm going to have a lot of stuff from anime up in here, up in there, like people from my TikTok family and stuff. Um, the sides will be utilized. Um, sides, you can the batteries and already in the trunk. But I'm gonna have a look. I'm gonna have a lot of custom stuff, like in books and stuff. That I'm gonna have covered for the custom trunk. It's gonna be simple, but not. But it's really simple how I'm how I'm putting it because it's really gonna be enclosed. Everything else after that is really gonna be bits and pieces, and it's gonna be literally a lot of people that I care about in a book and everything and stuff like that on the ground. So, because it's gonna be mixed up. It's a sports car, but I wanted to have a little fun. So black owned businesses and stuff and everything is going to be mixed into it. And yes, it's going to be a little bit more in depth than what I'm explaining it, but y'all going to get the picture. But it's going to be chocolate um, with with some of the um, peanut butter, rose gold peanut butter and stuff that I can do. And then the trimming and stuff like this, My the artist that's doing my logos and stuff is going to make the whole picture. And I'm going to get everything, like the angles and stuff, because I'm going to have the little mountain right here. A little mountain of people that I love right there. And I'm going to have other people that contribute heavy in my life on top of there. So this is like, cool. I ain't about to have family members. And so, look, they got a whole new family. got a whole new jet. So we're going to make sure we set it up differently. So TikTok family, my people supporters and stuff. I got people that rock with me in different animes that started off. So that's where this is going. So most definitely. So like I said, it's going to be loud in the trunk. I ain't, I'm getting all hurts, highs and stuff. Everything gonna be good. We going yes, we want big brake. I'm thinking about changing the brake calibers, of course, because you know I need bigger ones. So still thinking about doing a pro charge. I need these for fat. I need these for my car. I need these for my semi. So chocolate is gonna be like I said. Everything is getting painted, but everything is gonna be. Um, it's gonna have that aluminum stuff up under, so it can fire resistant, all that stuff like. The trunk is gonna be nice when I open it, and it's gonna be it's gonna be good shit. Like it's gonna be really thought about. It's gonna be simple because you know other people put all the trim in and everything, and all that stuff. Some people do a little too much with a little bit of results. I'm gonna keep my shit simple and have books and stuff, and just have it lined up in here where I can go and cover them up and everything where people can see, they can love. Like people that I love and support that support me, they're gonna be in the picture book and everything. That's just my thing, because this is my family sedan. I'm still going to burn out. We're going to have fun and stuff like that. So I'm going to get it twisted. I'm getting the Camaro rear end, like I said. Plug and play. All we got to do is get new control arms. Um, custom drive shafts. Um, and that's it. Like I said, we're going to get a new duck. A new duck thing. We're going to make sure we get that. Because I like the extended version. So it's going to probably be out to here. It's going to give it a slick view. Of course, I'm going to get the rear wing for it. All that stuff coming off. Um, we're gonna get an upgraded fuel pump from the Cadillacs. My boy was telling me about it. it's just something to have, it's not really gonna make a difference, but he said it'll make a difference. But we'll see. Um, all the trimming on the car is gonna be the um, it's gonna be the wrap, it's gonna be a dark um, forged carbon. This I'm gonna try to see about getting this rose gold because I want this part to be um, forged carbon, but these I want to see if I can get them in that rose gold because it's going because the rose gold I'm getting is like paint. It's all real gold, so I'm going to begin paint. So literally, we can just tape this off and paint over them, and literally clean them off and everything, and boom, I don't have to remove them. So, it's up and down. Well, you do have to remove them, but I'm saying, like, everything that goes with it is going to be good. But the, for, the, for sure, this is going to be rose gold. It'll break off the color, unless I get the doorknobs. Because they do have chrome doorknobs, so if I get the chrome doorknobs, and most definitely I will be making this, this, probably a two, probably both rose gold, but the trim that go all the way around will be the forged carbon black. Um, if I can get some H HSV, um, HSV size, I will. It all depends. But this car got a year, because it's coming out in a year. I'm not playing. I don't care how far the progress is any, I'm driving my car next year. It's not sitting outside, it's not going to be sitting sad or nothing. And of course, y'all know we got the GXP bumper. I already had the upgrades on my old bumper, but I got rid of them because 
the bumper was intact and I didn't feel like doing it. The dude gave me a good price for the bumper. So that's how we live in life with the G8. So like I said, SS interior, 408, 408 um, block, thinking about procharging it because it's going to be loud. So probably am going to do that because I, I am going to want to have fun in this car. So we'll talk about it. So other than that, man, we got a supercharged, we have pro charger. So that's the video for the day, y'all, just the breakdown for Miliani Azuri. Um, if y'all got any other questions or if y'all want to know anything else or y'all want to show me some stuff, let me know in the comment section. Follow me on my social medias. It's in the description down below. But Leeway fam, gang, I'm checking out with another mother-loving video. Y'all be safe. Holla at y'all.